Good day everyone! Today we will be discussing about conic sections and the generate cases. This is the first topic in pre-calculus. This is what they call a double nape cone. Imagine that you have two ice cream cones and you are connecting their vertex. So from that, you can now imagine that you have a double nape cone. Now let's have an activity. You're going to write down your answer on a piece of paper. So what are you going to do? You're going to imagine what will be the shape or the figure that we can form out of the given question. So your answer can be a circle, an ellipse, a parabola, or a hyperbola. So let's start. This is the first question. If you will cut the double nape cone using a plane figure horizontally, which of the following types of conic sections will be formed? Is it a circle, an ellipse, a parabola, or a hyperbola? So please write down your answer and later on we will be checking if your answer is correct or not. Next, number two. When the tilted plane intersects only one cone to form a bounded curve, which of the following types of conic sections will be formed. Okay, next. When the plane intersects only one cone to form an unbounded curve, which of the following types of conic sections will be formed? Number four. When the plane, not necessarily vertical, intersects bo both cones to, the, to form two unbounded curves, which of the following types of conic sections will be formed? And the last question will be, how about if you cut a double nape cone and it passes through the vertex? Would you think you can form the same conic sections? So now let's check your answer. So for number one, the answer should be a circle. Let's check your answer. Number two, the answer is a is ellipse. Number three is parabola. Number four is hyperbola. And number five is you cannot form any type of conic sections because it forms the generate cases. So now please comment down your score for um, the first activity. So please comment down activity number one and your score in our first activity. So let's discuss this one. So this is now the illustration of our first activity. So as you can see on number one, it is there is a double nape cone and the plane figure cut a double nape cone horizontally. And as you can see, it forms a circle. Now, for the second question, you can see that a double um, the plane intersects only one cone to form an, a bounded curve. You can see this one. Once it's a bounded and unbounded curve, you can take a look on this one. So this is what they call a bounded curve here. However, as you can see on the third example or illustration, this is what they call unbounded curve. So that's the reason why for number two, the answer is ellipse because when the plane figure intersects only, one cone to form a bounded curve that's the reason why we form an ellipse and this is the illustration for the second um, question for number three since an unbounded curve automatic that once the plane figure intersects the double nape cone it forms a parabola now for the fourth question as you can see the plane figure Cut the double nape cone vertically, not literally vertically, you can see a hyperbola. So from that, you can now see that your imagination on the first activity, you can now take a look on this one. Nakikita nyo na ngayon on this illustration, yung ini-imagine nyo kanina while doing the activity. So from that, it will give you a guide on... Um, understanding and analyzing the given situations and conditions pertaining for types of conic sections. 
So for the definition, what is said circle, it is when the plane is horizontal. For an ellipse, when the tilted plane intersects only one cone to form a bounded curve. And once you said parabola, it is when the plane intersects only one cone to form an unbounded curve. For hyperbola, when the plane not necessarily vertical intersects both cones to form two unbounded curves. So now this is the definition. We already imagine on the first activity what will be the type of conic sections that we form. We also see the illustration or the, or the real um, illustration of the given type of conic sections. And then from that, we define the given type of conic section. Now, the question for number five on, the, on our first activity, what if the plane figure cuts the, or cut the double meat cone um, and it passes through the vertex? Would you think you can form the same type of conic sections? Of course not. If we're going to imagine, we're, we cannot form the same type of conic sections because that is what they call the regenerate cases. So there are other ways for a plane and the cones to intercept to form what are referred to as the generate conics. These are point, line, and two intersecting lines. So let's take a look at the figures. Take a look at that one. On the first page, um, illustration. If we're going to cut a double nip cone horizontally and it passes through the vertex, we cannot form a circle because we can form a point. Now, on the second illustration, you can see that if we're going to cut a double nip cone, um, in this way, in this illustration, in the second illustration, you can, you can see that we cannot form an ellipse or a parabola because we can form a line. On the third illustration, if we're going to cut a double knit cone in this way, vertically, and it passes through the vertex, you can see we cannot form a hyperbola because we can form two intersecting lines. So I hope that it is clear for you that there are four types of conic sections, which are circle, ellipse, parabola, and hyperbola. And if it passes through the vertex, we cannot form the type of conic sections because it referred to us the degenerate conics or degenerate cases. And from that, we can form a point, a line, and two intersecting lines. So that's all. Thank you and happy math learning. Um, please don't forget to subscribe on our channel and hit the notification bell button so that you will be updated with our video tutorial. Thank you!